we talk a lot about family and tradition and Harry c lives in this country and has all his family around him, however that operates behind the scenes. Yes. Her family is very much removed and in two different directions. Is her mother going to come over and help with the birth or will she be here to support her? Will she move here permanently? I don't think Doria is going to be moving here permanently. From what I hear, she'll, she'll plan to come over here you know, and be here for probably six months of the year. Mm. The couple chose Frogmore in Windsor primarily because they love it, but it's very, very close to Windsor. So it's very easy mm. for Doria to fly in and out of the States. They've also built a granny annex so that when she's here, mm. she's got somewhere to stay. Now, I'm told that she'll be coming over for the birth. She's going to be over here for those early weeks to help the couple settle in, get to know their little newborn. But she's not going to be moving here permanently. Why? I think she recognises that the couple probably want their own space. They've upped sticks, they've left Kensington Palace, they've set up this new home in Windsor. They have very, very few staff there. I'm told it's a really scaled down entourage. They really want it to be a tight knit family mm. unit mm. and I think Doria recognises that while she's going to play a really fundamental role in those crazy newborn mm. weeks they want to be there as a family on their own and I think she's very respectful of that if you look at the way she has been a part of their lives ever since they met she's always been there mm. but she's never on top of them she gives them their space we see all these things from the prism of sitting at home and basing our family life on their family life yes. it's very different in reality do you think there's any uh, chance that this will be a start of a new approach with her and her other side of the family could there be any reconciliation between a father? Well, I think certainly Thomas Markle is, is hoping with all of his heart that there is a chance for a rapprochement here. Often babies can help to diffuse difficult family dynamics. And my goodness, the Markle's situation is, is a very difficult dynamic. Um, I think it might take more than just the baby. I think mm. Thomas Markle is going to have to prove to his daughter that mm. he can keep his mouth shut, that mm. he won't speak out to the press. I don't think there's any chance of a reconciliation with her half-brother or her half-sister, mm. but possibly someday much further down the line. I think we all hope for mm. a reconciliation between her father and, and Meghan, because it, it is the elephant in the room. Mm. This is a woman who has carved out an incredible role for herself as a royal, mm. as a humanitarian mm. and a philanthropist. Mm. And yet there's a very difficult relationship there with her father. I think personally that makes her more human. Well, some might argue that actually the fact that she does have a difficult relationship with her father, that there has been a fallout, mm. that it actually makes her just like the rest of us, frankly, mm. human. If you love that video, you're going to love everything on the Access YouTube channel. So hit the subscribe button. You can thank me later. Hit it. Now. Thanks.